Let's talk about momentum. <laughs> so at the beginning of this month, I had a lot of momentum. I was very excited. I was reading. I was writing. Things were going boom, boom, boom. And then life. <laughs> it's always life. Just something in life. Nothing tragic, nothing major. Just things that are happen and they interfere with momentum. And so... For this whip update, of course, I do have something to share. I wish I had more to share. You know, one of these days I'm going to get in front of this camera and I'm going to be like, I wrote 10,000 words this month. And when that happens, the angels will sing from the sky, <laughs> but that's not this month. And that's okay. I'm happy with what I have done. And, um, oh, my little, I see this. Yes, I see that. that that's my green screen, y'all. I, you know me, I'm not trying to pretend like anything is very like high tech happening here. So anyway, um, let's just get into it. So I started out the month, um, just had some time and I went forward and started writing. And so here's, here's, here's what I'm just going to kind of give you some numbers and some things. And I'll talk about um, some other stuff. I, the truth is, aside from me um, trying to manage stress and health and all this kind of stuff, I am a slow writer. So on top of all of these other things that I'm constantly, I just write slow. So that's the reality of it. All right. So total words written to date. Um, no, not to date. Since the total. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> So the total words I wrote since the last time I did a whip update is 1,248. So I actually had to go back and readjust some of my word counts because they were a little off. Um, so basically what happens um, sometimes if I'm writing like um, titles or subtitles or something like that, I do count it or I don't count it. And I need to just be consistent across the board. So moving forward, I'm gonna count all words written also, what I realize is that sometimes I'll write something, and then I'll rewrite something. So even though I have new words, um, I'm not taking into the fact that I've removed other words. And so still trying to figure all that out. Not going to get too technical with it, but that's how many new words I've written since the last time I did a whip update. Mm -hmm. So let's look at my project. So before I get into the projects that actually involve words, I want to mention real briefly my illustration project. Um, you guys know that I do illustrate picture books, but they are not the most amazing illustrations. They get the job done. However, I wanted to play my hand at hand illustrations, and it has been an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I mean, I'm having fun with it, but it's, I'm not an illustrator. I'm just, I'm just not. Now, of course, I could take the time to take, you know, drawing classes and illustration classes and put the effort into it. But I'm putting all of that effort into trying to write. But I still wanted to do this because I have the ability to do it. And so I'm trying. I have completed the first phase of the illustrations for my book about Margie and trying to move into the next phase. There's two more phases, but trying to move into the next phase, I've kind of hit a wall. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take everything that I have and scan it um, try to get it as quiet, high quality as possible and just have that kind of as a backup. I may have to try some different things, but I want to just make sure that what I have right now is preserved in case something horrible happens. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to word counts. So the two ongoing projects that I'm actively working, because I have lots of ongoing projects, we know this, but the two that I'm actively working on, I'm going to start with the smaller one first, which is the Twilight Moon. This is where I'm just kind of plotting out this story. The idea here is I'm creating this zero draft. That's me going from beginning to the end of the story and just basically telling, you know, the whole show versus tell thing. I'm just telling the story right now. And then the idea is that once I have that complete, I'll go in and put in scenes and make sure I have those character development things and you know, build it out, flush it out, all that kind of stuff. But I'm just getting through the plot right now. So last month, um, I did put some words in it, but I knew even the stuff that I put down was probably going to be re re rewritten just because it was kind of like filler, like transitioning from one thing to the next. And so for this month, my new words towards the Twilight Moon are 730. 
um, which actually was 800 minus what I did last month because I rewrote those. And what I did was basically establish the actual villain of the story. So, so far I've been kind of hinting at this kind of negative um, thing in the story that I haven't really just brought like to life yet. And so it's kind of been there all along. And I finally was just like, I'm getting too far into the book without just bringing this to the forefront. And so that's what I did um, with this 730 words was actually bring this concept of bad um, for this story, at least um, forward so that they, we can start addressing some of these things. All right, and the other project um, that I've been working on is the Toy Box of Gains. So this is my novel and anthology, and I'm really excited about this. So here's what I have. Um, New Words um, 518. Um, I have some other um, specific like word counts and things that I'll be sharing with my Patreon community. But what that means is these are just new words written. So what I'm doing is I'm writing a story that I'm incorporating other short stories that I've written into. And I shared this with my patron community of, uh, a while back, so they already know, but I can't remember if I've shared it with you guys yet. So this is how it works. I'm writing a story about a boy who discovers a video game that his grandfather wrote. And each level of the game is one of my short stories. And there's way more to the plot than that, but that's kind of how it all comes together. So when I'm writing new words to the story, it's it's basically incorporating these short stories into the plot of this boy playing um, this game and trying to master it. And so um, I'm very excited about where that's going. So those are the um, the basically the things that I wrote so far in the month of March. I know we still have more of March to go, but this is my new um, format for the WIP updates moving forward. It's just going to be from one WIP update to the next. I'm not trying to finish my writing for the whole month. That was just not working for me. So this is what I currently have, and um, I'm very excited about it. I'm hoping to try to write more than a thousand words next month but if I don't hey as long as I write something I'll be happy next month because I'll be taking some vacation time but most of that vacation time will be dedicated to RavenCon I don't think that'll be the month where I'm going to get a whole lot of writing in but you never know so I um, hope you guys are excited about um, what I'm working on um, I'm excited about it and so um I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, if you ever want to have a real say in what's going on, be sure to check out my Patreon community. And until next time, guys, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You could also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.